Hello, I'm Danya Metzger and I'm bringing you 100 videos of vocal exercises for embodied expressive singing. So today you are going to need a pitch pipe. Mine is a Tombow pitch pipe with the little sticky outy bits, um, but any kind of pitch pipe will work. Maybe even an instrument like a, a penny whistle or a recorder will work, but uh, I just tried one and it didn't work as well as this. So if you have a pitch pipe, you want to play with a pitch pipe. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a reference pitch. I'm going to choose G because I can sing an octave from G to G really comfortably. You can use a, d a different pitch, it doesn't really matter. So um, what you're going to do first is just blow the pitch of your scale that you're going to do. So I'm going to blow my G. And then I'm going to blow my G by singing the same note and you'll hear the effect that is going to happen here. So you probably heard that there were little bumps in that sometimes and that means that my G was not exactly in the same place as the pitch of the G here. So it's creating some interference because physics. So what we're gonna listen for is the different uh, effects that happen on each note. And if you're listening for overtones or undertones, you might be able to hear some other notes being created by the relationship between the note that you're blowing and the note that you're singing. So I'm gonna do a whole scale starting on G, probably breathe somewhere in the middle, and you'll hear what happens. And I'll come back down. Fun with a pitch pipe. This is such an interesting thing to do. I hope you try it. I hope you try it on a bunch of different pitches and uh, notice those relationships, whether you can get the beats to go away when you're singing and, and blowing the same pitch. It's uh, quite a fun little tool. So if you like that, smash the like button and subscribe to our channel to get new exercises every day for the next 90 days. Thanks, bye.